Oh, okay. I guess that wasn't good enough, huh? A very interesting game I've seen someone else play a long time ago. I barely remember anything about it. All I know is that it's basically about a little girl who sees hallucinations. Or maybe they're not hallucinations. Who's to say? Everything's fine. Not for long. It feels like heaven. I see my parents. They look happy. They have a present for me, I wonder. Ah, it's a cat, so sweet and pretty. Dark as the deepest night. That's cute. It's Mr. Midnight! My best friend. My only friend. Oh geez, that's where it got morbid. We are having dinner, and I see Aunt Grace too. I really like her a lot. It's Friday. My parents are going out. Aunt Grace takes good care of me. I would hope so. We are having so much fun. <laughs> well, I see the cat's enjoying himself. It's Monday night. I'm playing with Mr. Midnight. But something feels real bad. This is where it all goes to hell. A strange creature outside my window. I don't like it. It scares me. Looks like a baron of hell. Suddenly I hear something. It's mom! Screaming! I want to know what's wrong! You probably shouldn't. A bright light shines from my parents' room. I go closer. And closer. A knife. Mom? Dad? Please don't. Oh, jeez. Mommy? Daddy? Oh, shit. That is messed up. Yeah, I don't blame you. Whoever or whatever killed them might still be there. I'd want to get far away from there, too. Where's the cat going? Who are you? Why are you robed? Fran, please, follow my voice. On the count of three, you will wake up. One. Two. Three. Three. Fran, how do you feel? I'm fine, I guess. Just sad to see the same things. Sadness is something everybody has within. Why would a little girl want to find the killer? I think it would be more natural to say she wants to go home, don't you? I want to go home. You can't go home, Fran. You have to get well. I need my cat. I have to get out of here. I need my cat. Your cat is missing. It would be impossible to get him back. Wow, that's harsh. But I guess you have to face reality. But now I have something for you, friend. What is it? See the desk? There's a little package for you. It's from Aunt Grace. Take it. Oh, really? This was my mother's purse. Oh, jeez. Open it. There's something inside. Lost and found. Examine. Dearest friend, here is the purse you like so much. 
I thought you would like to have it. When I was thinking about you, I remembered that you like to examine objects and combine them with other things. So I hope you always keep this purse and give it all. Give it and all the other things you find a good use. Never forget that, cre that creativity is absolutely the greatest gift you have. Love and grace. That's a very interesting way of spelling out the tutorial. She is worried about you. Aunt Grace. Aunt Grace, well, another reason to let me go. Well, don't worry about her. She is fine. Can I leave now? Can I go to my room now? Yes, you can leave. Before you do, it is time for your new medicine. What medicine? It's called Duotine. Duotine, and it will make you feel very relaxed. Nurse, we're ready. Oh. This is gonna be fun. Anything new today, Dr. Dern? Nothing, actually. Same visions as before. Oh, I see. Here, friend, take your medicine. Okay. I have no choice. I guess it's time to trip out. I don't feel good. Oh, jeez. Oh no! Take her back to her room! That's not something a little girl should have to see. And nurse, don't let her take this ever again. Yeah. To say she had a bad reaction to it would be a bit of an understatement, don't you think? Beware, friend Bo. If you leave the house of madness, I will hunt you down. Catch you. And bring you back to insanity. Poor girl. Friend, wake up. The medicine will help you escape. I'll be waiting for you in the forest. I love you. I love you too, Mr. Midnight. I love you too. Chapter 1. My Sober Day. This is exactly as intense. This is actually more intense than I remember. Fran, wake up. I'm still here. Hideous place. I have to get out of here. What's this? Fran Bo Dagenhart. Dagenhart, whatever it says. Age 10. Gender female. The patient was found near the Oswald Asylum showing signs of psychosis. The Bo Dagenhart family tragedy. Details omitted. Treatment. Dr. Marcel Dern has tried different medications and all have been canceled because of side effects. Documented July 25th, 1994. Psycho? What? I'm not that for sure. Yeah, I know. Oh, sweet, sweet melody. That is pretty nice, isn't it? One more time. La la la. It is the same as before. Huh. Yeah, I know. It's kind of funny. Hopefully this won't fall on my head when I'm sleeping. That's a morbid thing to think of. Red and tiny, you are hiding from me. Hate the monster. I have to find Mr. Midnight. I have to find him now. I miss my kitty. He hides because he is afraid. He told me that the medicine would show me where he is. Oh, jeez. What's with the clown painting? I will get your nose! I will get it! Oh, holy moly, something fell! Oh, I guess I broke the curtains. Now I can look outside. Well, apparently you're not getting out of here. Tower defense. We have, for you, a crazy person called Fran. Or is it defense tower? Um, I guess this, that is my way out. I don't think my head would fit through the window. Okay. Let's pick this up. A handy hook. I'll save it to play pirate later. Sure. You do that. Hello. Oh, Fran, you're awake. Good. How long was I asleep? Three days, maybe. Jeez. 
Was it the medication? That made me sleepy? Yes, it was the medication. That's why you're not taking it anymore. Something happened. Oh, I forgot. Something happened. See? You are nothing but trouble. What is it? Broke the curtain. I was trying to look outside and I accidentally broke the curtains. <laughs> accidentally. I have to fix this. Follow me. Don't mind me. I'm just going to grab wherever I can find. I'm curious, yes, but the nurse is still inside this room. She would just go crazy if I touch anything. I better go and talk to her. Okay. Very well. Something is missing. Have you seen the hook that holds the curtains up? What's a hook? Um, what's a hook? Well, I have to go and find something to fix this, you little... girl. Oh, she was gonna call her something nasty. Here's my chance. What do we have here? I think this is where the medicine is, but it's locked. Oh, I'll keep these patches to stop blood. Oh my goodness, this is terrible! Why would the nurse have this? She wants to kill us all! I'll leave it as it was. I really need to get out of this place. The patient has been sleeping almost all the time. She only wakes up to drink water, but I don't think she remembers that. After drinking, she goes to sleep again. She hasn't been social for three days now. Okay. The nurse's handwriting is awful. I only understand three words. Something have around and about her and when C would come out and play. 8H. Duo teen. Fascinating. Violent trauma can have a great impact on children, totally changing their normal lives. For example, children damaged by trauma can have mild to severe deficits in some abilities such as trusting people near them, seeing the world as a safe place, making decisions, etc. Because of these effects, some traumas can lead to several symptoms of major mental illnesses. For instance, not trusting other people or not feeling safe in the world. This can be interpreted as paranoia. Drawing of the brain. Frontal lobe. Motor cortex. Sensory cortex. Parental lobe. Acapitical lobe. Sorry, I don't know how to pronounce these. And, of course, temporal lobe. What's this? Ew! What is it? Medicine? Do I even... Do I want to know what that is? Empty bottles, empty glasses, nothing useful. My legs are just fine. Very well. Hello. Hello, Phil. Hello. Why does Phil so sad? How are you? Everybody says that I'm sick. They are just stupid. They always say that. They are just stupid. Are you leaving tonight? I will if you help me. The only way I know is that the office is the key. There's a key inside? The key is there a key inside the office? I saw the doctor write a secret code. A secret code? To open the yellow door? He doesn't want me to tell you. Who? Him. The devil. All doors are closed. You are a prisoner of my games. And nobody will help you escape. You're a devil. Leave me alone. I hate you. I don't blame her. Mommy, Daddy, I need you so much right now. He's probably the one who slaughtered her parents right in front of her. No, I won't let that monster stop me. Click. Fillmore Bronston, age 8, gender male. The patient came to Oswald Asylum with his mother, Rachel Bronstone. The boys developed paranoid behavior, paranoia not yet diagnosed. Daily treatment with Dr. Marshall Dern. We have not achieved the patient's trust and he refuses to be questioned. Okay then. Let's see what this is. Oh, oh, a secret box. Shh. Examine. A little box. It's open. A key. This will certainly open something. 
My pills are inside. I know, I have to crack the code. Well, I have a hook. I have a few things. Of course, it's locked. Luckily, I have a key. The key is too tiny. Oops. What about this? Uh, the shape is not right. What if you combine it? Combine golden hook with tiny key. I'm not sure what to do with this. Hmm. Radio. If I sit down, I will eventually get up, so what's the point? Oh, wooden Mr. Horse, are you having a good time? There has to be something here. I hope somebody loves you. That's it. That's an unfortunate thing to say, isn't it? Hmm. Now what? I have to be able to get out somehow. Of course, it's locked. There's gotta be something here. A tiny little key. Wait a minute. Maybe there's something in here. What about this? Locked. Good reason to get curious. Hmm. Yes, yes, I got it, and there's something inside. Ooh. Hairpin. My hair clip. I should give it a good use. Of course. We're gonna lockpick our way out of here. It was so obvious. Use. It fits, but there are two holes. I need something else. Naturally. Uh, the shape is not right. Darn it. Okay, can I combine it? Uh, it won't work. Aww. I'm guessing those two are her parents, and that's her aunt. And there's her cat. That's very tragic. What is that hairpin for? I have to find out. Hmm. Yeah. Well, I can't use that. Hmm. I can't see anything. What about this window? Ah, the playground! Good night, trees and moon! I'm pretty sure the playground isn't a good escape route. Um, I like the bunny swingy thingy. It makes me dizzy. Oh, that's cute. What about this window? Um, not so easy to see through this. Is that the playground? Maybe somebody already tried jumping through this window. I have to see what I can find. What about your bed? I don't want to. I just woke up. Fair enough. Wait a minute. What if I use this with this? But of course. No, um. Okay, that didn't work. This? I won't even try that. Yeah, I don't blame you. It was probably a stupid idea anyway. I need something else to use with that. Hang tight real quick. So apparently what I had to do was I had to correspond those letters with the numbers that they are in the alphabet. So that would be 8, 9, yeah, 8, 9, 4, 5. Bingo. The pills! Kitty told me the, these would help me! Great, now she can enter the dark, depressing world anytime she wants. Oh, jeez. What is that? Get out, creepy creature! A needle. Excuse me, lady nurse. This may be very useful. Hello, Miss Nurse. Jeez, that's cr that's insane. It was not me. Who are you? Oh, is that my head? Give me my head back, please. Just go away, you weird creatures. No little girl should have to see this. Oh, are you sleeping, sweet bunny? Yes, it's sleeping. It's sleeping all right. Why are you looking at me like that? You terrify me. 
Phil's playing with his uncle, and the uncle is mad. Mad! To happiness. Hello? Hello? Oh no, your head! I'll try to put your head back on. I'm sorry. I can't help you, Mr. Deer. Of course. It's locked. Well, she said it had two holes. Bingo. Yes, to happiness! Oh, look. What was that? Daddy was not there. Mommy would not care. What? Let's go back into the world of the living, shall we? Hello! You see them. You do, right? What? See what? The creatures that follow everyone! The shadows? You mean the shadows? Uh-huh, I can't see them, but I know they are there. You know what they are? Do you know what they are? Yeah, I guess. Tell me, please. You like to draw? I love to draw. Yes, I love it too, but tell me more about the shadows. Crayon, a crayon, I want to find a crayon. I draw all the time. What are you drawing? Something. What is it? My dreams! Go now! Okay. Oh, real flowers, they smell so sweet. Okay, that drawer is empty. Oh, let me see. A red puppet and a serpent. What about this doll right here? This bed is very pink. There's, you act like there's a problem with that. Wash closet. Okay, that's just a bathroom. The throne is empty. I didn't realize that anyone could see me. What? I can and will hold it. Now that was, that's weird. I just took a weird turn. Huh? There you are. You should be in your room. The door was closed. You left it open. But you left it open. I'm sure it was not open. I know because I locked it. How did I get out then? It was open. Hmm, don't try to trick me. Go inside your room and wait for the doctor. Ah, uh, I have no time for this. I have to find my way out. Oh, there's the doctor. Did you break out from your room? That's not nice, Fran. I haven't eaten in days. But I'm hungry, sir. I haven't eaten in days. I won't listen to any of your excuses, young lady. I don't care if you're starving. Let me go eat something. Sir Doctor, please just let me go out and eat something. You have to learn how to listen to those in charge. Now stay in your room until you starve to death, young lady. Of course, sir. Lesson learnt. Just don't do it again, friend. Go and eat now. Then get back to bed. Good. Hmm. That was easy. Now to pop... Oh. It's locked. You're my beloved friend. Bip, bip, berm. Interesting how she can just turn that effect off anytime she wants. That's nice. Wait, what the? Can I use that to get through the security? No, of course not. Hello up there, miss. Oh, this clock sounds odd. Oh, jeez. Reach the key. Ew, a crunchies pig's head ready to be served. Um, Mr. Pig is naked. Wonder what part of the body that is. You don't want to know, Fran. You don't want to know. Sir, the key hanging up there. Can I have it? Sure. I can give you the key if you give me a kiss. What? A kiss? Are you serious and then you'll give me the keys? Sure. Come here and sit on my knee. What the hell? <laughs> Both of those sound nasty. What a loser. I hope you die with a giant pineapple. Well, a giant pineapple grows in your butt. What? That just got freaky. If I call emergency, I don't think they would help me. That's the office key. It must be. But what can I do to reach it? Hey, what are you looking at? Nothing, I think. So, you're able to think. 
You should think about getting the hell out of here. I go wherever I want. Go where? To your mommy and daddy? Get lost. That guy is messed up. Okay, just grab it. This could work, but I can't reach it with just the hook. Fair point. Who are you? Hello, are you alright? What is that supposed to mean? I wanted to know. I just wanted to know if you feel okay. I don't want to tell. The doctor will cut your head open if you don't leave. This is just weird. This game is getting weird. He likes to eat brains. He already took mine. He ate all of my thoughts. He ate your brain? He will eat yours too. I saw you inside the doctor's office. You are dead. Oh no, then I have to go. I hope you find new thoughts. Bye. That was weird. What the? Hmm. Hmm, I can see the cinnamon bun melting in my mouth. A tasty cinnamon bun. Wait, no. Um, eat it, Fran. Or not. Jason. I'm clever enough to find another solution, I think. Hello, are you new here? I haven't seen you before. No. Are you from downstairs? Uh-huh, they think I'm better now. What's your name? Could you please kill me, please? Sure! Bang! You are dead. Thank you. I can't talk now. I'm dead. Funny. Very funny. A little lemonade. I'm not that thirsty. I wonder if that pasta was cooked today. Not by the looks of it. That salad looks fresh for once. Milky milk. I guess this carton is all sour. Like always. Hello. Oh, hello, friend. How are you today? I see dead animals. I'm oh, fine. I'm fine. Glad to hear you're fine. Carry on now. Open the yellow door. Nurse, could you open the yellow door? That's not very appropriate to ask. I think you should go to your room now. I just woke up. I'm not tired. Then go do something other than bother me. Okay, jeez. What have we here? Chocolate. Mmm, yummy. I don't like bitter coffee. The menu of the day. Mmm, pasta. Yeah, uncooked pasta. The signal's weird. That must be because we are so far away from everything. Let's pop it. Yep, that's what I thought. They hide you because they love you. They harm you because they hate you. Oh, little boy, everyone feels ashamed of you. Oh no, the lady nurse died. What the? Please, tell me if you can hear me. That holy man took your all your clothes off. Oh, how pretty all these roses are, right? Your mommy doesn't believe you. They are dead. It's alive! If Kitten were here, he would probably attack it. Hope it doesn't start following me. The door is always locked at night. I can't go out and play. Who are you? Don't disturb me. Go away. I'm eating. Okay. Uh, Don't touch my sword. I didn't know it was yours. You should bow and speak clearly to me. I'm your king. I bow to you. Oh, I bow to you, sir. Very well, my child. What is the purpose of your visit? I want your cane. I want your walking cane. What walking cane? Do you mean my sword? Yes, your highness. Your sword. What would you give me in exchange? Anything you need. Your highness. Bring me a castle and a horse. Only then will I grant you my sword. What? What do you mean by that? I don't want this. I'm not hungry. I'm not quite sure what you mean by a castle and a horse. I'm sure he means something. 
I mean, there was a wooden horse over there. It feels like a chilly breeze of sadness coming through this fence. Let's see what the madness entails. What the hell? Teddy, what are you doing here? That was freaky. Oh. Hello. Unfortunately, I'm all out of time. Hello, what are you doing? It doesn't work. The paper is not working. What do you mean? The paper should be working like they told me. What does the paper do? Well, what is it the paper has to do? I need the paper to show me what's on the television. Oh, I see, but why isn't it working? The waves must be powerful. Change the channel, please. Okay. Let's try it. Oh, there we go. That what you want? Oh, okay. I guess that wasn't good enough, huh? Still not working. Paper vision negative. Change again. I'm just gonna check this real quick. The wave's supposed to be powerful. Change the channel. How about this one? We're losing the waves. Change the channel. How about that? The waves must be powerful. Change the channel, please. An ant? The waves must be powerful. Change the channel, please. There's your waves. It works, it works. A miracle. Thank you. Paper vision positive. Great, can I see? No, this is mine. If you want, you can take the papers that didn't work. I suppose I can use it. Oh, thank you. I suppose I can use the paper to write or draw on. I'm busy. Paper vision revision in action. Okay, unfortunately, I'm going to have to say that is it for now. Thank you so much for tuning in with me. Make sure to spread this video around like Isabel. And I will see you next time. Now go out there and capitalize on life. Would you like to help me escape? Peace out, have a good one, and have a nice and pleasant day. If you wanted to say subscribe or hit the bell icon or check out the videos on the end screen, that'd be great. <laughs>